talking topsoil, uh, and I wanted to make it clear that these are not design guidelines, because depending on the land use you're talking about, uh, we're not, we're not going to tell you that a foot of topsoil is going to solve your problem if you have this kind of land use, right? And this is Surrey. I mean, this is a multifamily site here. It's a townhouse site. And these are our F9 lots. This is the East Clayton neighborhood, which was um, deemed a sustainable development because of all of the other sustainability measures. It's a dense neighborhood. It now has transit service. Uh, and it has mixed use housing, it has some employment lands and so on. But the point is, from a drainage perspective, we're very limited with regards to topsoil. So although the primer deals with topsoil, it's important that we use common sense in applying that extra depth of topsoil. The point here is that if you are needing that extra foot of topsoil, make sure that you have the, the tools in place to enforce that requirement. And that's what we talk about in the primer. We touch on those potential tools and where the sign-off would occur. 